The Tale of Fallout 76 is one well known by many. The Fallout series as a whole is quite popular, with Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4 boasting some exceptional reviews. So after Fallout 76 was announced, there was a considerable amount of hype generated around the game. 2018 as a whole was stacked with some pretty astounding titles. God of War, Monster Hunter World, Red Dead Redemption 2, Celeste, Spider-Man PS4, Smash Bros Ultimate, Sea of Thieves, A, w a Way Out, <laughs> sorry, this is supposed to be a serious segment. And amongst those titles was Whittle Ol' Fallout 76, and just like all the other behemoths and Sea of Thieves before and after it, there were many people who had it on their list for one of the games that would make their year. And then it released and carnage broke out. People revolted. Pitchforks and torches in typical Spongebob manner flooded the internet saying everything negative about this game that they could think to say, to the point that people who enjoyed the game overall kept their opinions to themselves, so they wouldn't have their heads on pikes before you can say, it just works. This flop would forever stain executive producer Todd Howard's good name that was totally definitely perfect before this moment. The game was a failure, but there were many people, myself included, who were still hopeful. You see, some of my favorite games of all time were originally failures. When No Man's Sky released, it was a glorified sandbox in space. But after four years, it won an award at the Game Awards for its regular updates and improvements. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was called a shameless pay-to-win money grab, but after some tweaks, patches, and updates, people were heartbroken after the game had officially received its last update, because it had become a good game. After these underdog stories, I was convinced. Fallout 76 could make a full comeback, and there have been updates, bug fixes, events, and new quests from actual people rather than robots and audio tapes. There are people who care about this title and wish to see it enjoyed by those who will give it the time of day. And so after all these years, I think it's time I finally dove in and saw for myself. Is this game any good? The best place to start when playing a game is to obviously establish an objective, and they provide a large amount of those, so I got started on some quests to really dig deep into the world of Fallout. But what I realized quite early is just how empty it feels walking around doing quests that just aren't that engaging, as it feels like every time you walk up to an NPC, it's just so that they can hand you a grocery list, which isn't that entertaining or rewarding to complete. This just led me to stop taking the game seriously, because it's hard to have fun when the game's objectives have no outcome on the world. After ruining my immersion in the game by filling a room with flares before talking to an NPC to make that conversation of canned voice lines even less bearable and pretending to eat all the balls on a pool table, I realized I was missing something, or someone. I mean, this is a multiplayer game after all, with someone else we'd be able to do quests and have fun as a team, so I dragged the nearest idiot I can find into a party and we got to work. Uh, I'm having an out of body experience now, I can see my my character. Actually, I don't think this is my character. No, this is not my character. This is someone else. We got to work. I'm in a construction worker. Why are you in a construction worker? I don't know. I said we got to work. So I may have just broke the game. I'm frozen. Right after some technical difficulties. Well, <laughs> I'm able to pull a gun. Okay, I'm able to shoot. <laughs> You're a mounted turret. <laughs> I literally can't move. How did I be how <laughs> did get turned into a turret? And after one game reload, we got to- I've mutated. Already? What oh. mutation did you get? Something about isotopes. We started doing quests, is what I would say, if we started doing quests. If you want to go into that, I mean, be my guest. The day we filmed this was kind of a haze. I don't remember what happened or whether or not we actually did quests. Onwards we go, brothers! Dancel! 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 Fine, I'll go in. I ain't got no power armor on, but I'm going. But maybe, if I keep saying we did quests, I'll will it into being. Dancel! 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 Anyways. <laughs> Alright, um... Ah, uh, yes. Are you telling me you're just gonna finish these guys off 
and not eat I'm them? I'm in my power armor! I can't eat them! Oh, I have a plate goodness. of metal over my Install, face! Install, like, a straw just to slurp them up. <laughs> Install a straw! Yeah, so, in all honesty, we didn't do a single quest. We just fought Deathclaws and Scorch Beast, and my dumbass didn't think to test the audio prior, so it's all scaled so that I'm super quiet, and the rest is all super loud, so it all sounds like this. I am Florida Man! Ah! <laughs> so you know what? Allow me to cobble together a brief summary of the most profound thing that happened the entire time. When we fought those Scorch Beasts and Death Claws, we personally didn't kill any of them, meaning that our highest form of achievement, the most impressive task completed by two former residents of Vault 76, aka Humanity's Best and Brightest, is when I decided it would be a good idea to fist fight a Death Claw, because only then did I stand even the slightest chance of accomplishing something compared to our previous exploits. Wait. To victory! Knock his lights out! Yeah! <laughs> Okay. I got a gun. <laughs> you pulled a gun on the death claw? Yeah. Why am I not doing any damage? Oh, we both have pacifist mode on. Mine Are you a pacifist? Off, though, I, I thought you were an Aquarius. <laughs> oh, yeah, I deserve that one. <laughs> no, 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 not the guitar, not the guitar, so not the guitar. Get back here, bitch. <laughs> Get back here, bitch. <laughs> You broke my left arm! Oh my god. Mercy dude! Don't worry, no. Don't count me yet, yet. Don't count me out. You can't count me out till it's over. <laughs> I ain't hear no bell. Ah! <laughs> you can't. Don't count me out yet. Don't. <laughs> I ain't hear no bell yet. <laughs> ah! So, to answer the question I set out to answer, is this game any good? I don't know. I was too busy doing this. I mean, bagged water. <laughs> so, uh, there's just gonna be an entire thing about bagged water. You want- how long do you want I mean, this segment to be? I mean, it's bagged water! <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. It's up to you. You're the one making this. Do you want but, I mean, me to having just drop it... some right now? Like, I- how, Hold I up. 56 bagged water. It's water in a bag. Hold on, let me accept the team invite and let me come over to you. Because I wanna, need some wanna, water anyway. You want to add another bag? I, I need like some bagged any water, water anyway. I would like all of this water, thank you. Wait, all right, I'm gonna go. All my... Did you just take my water and mole rat chunks? No, I took just the water. You left the mole rat chunks, of course you did.